This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar showcasing the new features in the 2019 release of Adobe Media Software. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you a series of new time-saving editing tips for Premiere Pro CC. This is the part that makes Premiere just so much easier to use, and it will be once I get to the right spot. Okay, see this time code here? If you click on it, you're able to say, I want to jump to time code 16 seconds, and I jump to 16 seconds. The problem is, is I've got to take my hands off the mouse. I've got to type a semicolon or a colon, and this it's just painful. For those of you that remember back in the dark days of Final Cut 7, in Final Cut 7, all we would have to do is just click in the time code and enter number. Whoa, that's, that's kind of cool. Premiere now does exactly the same thing. It is now possible you just click in the time code and type in the number. No punctuation, which means I can do it on the keypad with, with one hand, press the enter key, and it automatically jumps. We can also, for those of you that remember this, we can type 14 period. The period represents two zeros, and it's the same thing as typing 1400. You can just type 14 period, or for 14 minutes in my my uh, sequence isn't that long. You just type 14 period period and you're 14 minutes in. I love this part. This is just makes jumping around in time code five seconds period and I'm there. It just makes it so much easier. <laughs> so it's the little things that make a difference. Now here I out clevered myself. I took the same clip and copied it five times. Notice I have five different label colors. We'll talk about that in a second. I'm going to set a marker. Type the letter M <laughs> because it's the same clip. I now have markers across the entire sequence. Next time I'll use different clips, but this will still work. Now, in the past, we would have to double-click this clip, load it into the source monitor, select the marker, get the marker gone. Ah, life is too short. Instead, select the clip that contains the marker, go up to the markers window and say clear all markers. And we can now delete markers from the timeline without opening clips up in the source monitor. We can also select a marker, type the letter M again. It opens up the marker dialog. We can delete it. So the source monitor need not be visible for us to be able to enter delete markers. Oh, another thing. I'm going to select a discontinuous group of clips. In the past, we could deselect it by clicking above it. But there's now a keyboard shortcut that works more effectively. Just press the Escape key. The Escape key now deselects whatever is selected in the timeline. Label colors. Notice I've applied label colors. That's done by control clicking on a clip and going down to label and picking whatever color appeals to you. Label colors now remain label colors even when you select the clips. Somehow I never <laughs> paid attention to that, but now they do. Also, this one I like a lot. If we go up to preferences and go to autosave, We've had autosave in Premiere since the beginning of time and the default settings so that it saves my project every 15 minutes. But this is new. Autosave also saves the current project. Have you ever been burned by having a project develop a problem and you realize that you haven't saved it for the last two or three hours? Well, this fixes that. What this does is when this is checked, it will save your current project every 15 minutes or whatever number you have selected here. All it's going to do is, is just as if you were typing command S, it's going to save the project, but it's going to do it so that you don't have to remember to do this. At the same time, it will also create archives of your current project, which is what autosave has always done. But now the autosave gives you the ability to save the project you're working on. So if you're so caught up in the creative moment that you forget to hit command S, which I will plead guilty to, then this solves the problem because it's going to save your project every 15 minutes or 10 minutes or whatever number you set right there. The small changes is what makes working with Premiere so much more fun. It takes some of the pain away, and it makes our job just more enjoyable. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar showcasing the new features 
in Adobe's media software. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com store and look for Webinar 265. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours, on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.